Well, good day, and welcome to quarantine time. And uh, we're back. I uh, can't wait to be getting back in the car and doing drive time with you again, but for right now, quarantine time is what it is. Um, of course, over the last uh, month or so, we've had businesses uh, closed or virtual running, and what we've got to do now is start planning and say, okay, I now see what it's like to be in lockdown. I understand quarantine. I understand what that is. And I know that different parts of the world are in different phases with this. And obviously, governments are giving plans of when things will reopen. Here's the thing we do know. At some point, we're going to reopen. Okay? When that is, your guess is as good as mine. Okay? Waiting for guidance from all governments. But... When we reopen, the question is, how do we not get caught flat-footed? How do we not get caught with, you know, problems with staff, with, uh, with going back, you know, all of these different aspects to it? And I'm sitting down and I've been working with my teams uh, in all of our companies to start planning. How do we reopen? What do we got to do to reopen? What's got to be next? What are we going to start with? Because the, the last thing you want to have happen is for everything to get rolling and you're the last one reopening. You want to be coming into this with a bit of momentum. You want to be coming into this uh, ready to go, rearing to go. And, you know, it's, it's one of the things to sit back and say, yes, I know there's a big health crisis and I understand all that. But we as business people can't allow businesses to fail because then there's an economic crisis. You know, potentially there already is one, but we've got to get, if we can get businesses back up and running, uh, and part of that is planning how you're going to, thanks for typing in where you're at, part of that is, t- uh, is planning how are you going to get started again with this thing. So what we've got to start looking at is five things, okay? The first thing we've got to look at when we reopen, obviously, is new rules, okay? There'll be new rules, there'll be new ways of doing business that we have to adjust to, and that's just something we have to do. And it's pretty clear what a lot of those will be with social distancing and heat checking and te- like temperature checking and you know, those sort of basic things. So we've got to plan for that. Second thing we've got to do is we've got to plan for con- less contact, okay? So things like um, doors. In the past, where people were happy to open doors, now you're probably going to find people less happy to use their hands to open doors and touch doors and all of that sort of thing. Even bathroom doors, even uh, restaurant menus. What are things that people are going to not want to touch as much going forward And I think we have to look at that so that our business is there. I mean, I've seen some businesses here getting fully retrofitted for automatic doors purely because they know people won't want to touch the doors. You know, so thinking about, yes, there's the government regulations. That's the first thing. Second thing is think about the psyche of the individuals buying from you. What will they want to do? What will they not want to do? What have you got to adjust? I was talking with a friend who literally they're taking all of their menus and making all of their menus so that you can instantly just scan a picture. Like when you walk into the restaurant, you scan one of those barcode things and boom, the menu pops up on your phone right there and then. So you don't have to touch the menus. You don't have to keep doing that. So it's interesting how we go contactless. The third thing you gotta think about is what do you wanna keep based on what you've done? What are the things based on what you've done now that you wanna keep? Is there certain virtual aspects to it? Are there certain things where you say, you know what, we don't want that to go back because I'm sitting here looking at it thinking, dang, imagine how much money we could save if half of our workforce actually did work from home and we didn't need all that office space for that sort of thing. You know, what if all of our training events didn't go uh, in, a, in a live scenario and they did go into a virtual Zoom-based training program? There's so many things that we've adapted to now that you've got to sit down and start thinking about what do I want to keep? So then... The fourth thing we've got to think about is how do we reopen this thing? And you've got to do it as, a, as an opening. It's a launch. It's a relaunch. It's a, a grand opening, if so, so to speak. It's like a party, but not a party, if you know what I mean. It's, we've got to relaunch our businesses. And when we get open, we've got to make sure we do it loud and proud. We've got to have publicity. We've got to be doing stuff. We've got to get out there. You know, everything that you've done during this economic downturn has to be shared and I think that you, you will, you'll be surprised at how much local news media is ready, willing and able to do stories on companies that have survived this thing, stories on businesses that kept all of their employees and kept paying them all and how you did that and what you did. I think you'll be surprised if you reach out that they're definitely looking for things like that, especially the morning news shows and all of that sort of stuff and the evening news. But if you think about 
reopening, your marketing, what are you gonna do? What emails are gonna be sent? What's gonna be your posts online? How are you gonna do this? Because reopening the business is part of it. It's like a launch. It's like you've never been there before and you've gotta look at it from a marketing and a, and a sales perspective. And finally, I think what we've got to look at is the human side of this thing, the people that work with us, because we've got to be able to bring them back to work and maybe we do it step by step. We're going to watch the guidelines, obviously, for all of these sorts of things. But the people have got to get back involved and you've got to think about your leadership strategies and how you're going to get your people back excited to be back at work and how you're going to get your people into doing things, especially if you've had them furloughed. You know, it's, it's amazing where we sit down and start thinking about how we get people back excited. If we can get people back excited, then we can get people moving faster. If we can get them excited to do business again. Now, some businesses, hairdressing salons, beauticians, they're gonna have no challenge with marketing. Trust me on that. They, their biggest challenge is gonna be getting all of their uh, customers serviced. And for them, I suggest start auctioning off your first appointments and selling those first day's appointments for a little bit extra if anyone wants to buy them sort of thing. But anyway, Start planning. Now, if you don't have a plan for reopening, in fact, if you're still stuck in struggle mode, you're still looking at how do I survive this thing, please get with an action coach immediately. Please do my 10 day free training immediately, okay? But if you're in that space of, okay, I've got survival worked out, now I need to start planning how to come over it, jump on with your action coach. We've got a system that we're using with everyone around the world to help them plan how we come out of this thing. It's been great watching how uh, Germany's moving ahead of everybody, Japan's ahead, and, and so we're starting to see things happening in those markets. You know, ultimately, I just wanna do two things before I finish up. Number one, thanks to all the business owners who've stayed operating during this thing and kept their staff on and kept paying their bills. I really appreciate everything you're doing because uh, there's, there's nothing in an economy without all the business owners staying in business. And the other one is thanks to all my coaches out there, all of the Action Coach team who are busting a hump every single day to help as many businesses as we can. Um, thank you to all of you for working the long hours and putting in the time, energy and effort to keep every business owner we can to survive and thrive through this thing. Take care, everybody. I'll be back with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.